Hello, I'm ZT Stealth, and this is just my introduction to pro tips of... Uh, it's like a series I'm going to be starting. Uh, I recommend watching these videos in HD to get the full benefit of uh, what I'm about to show you. But uh, what basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do specific tasks. Uh, nothing really... G nothing general, just, uh, just some tips. So uh, this is one of the first tips I want to do, and it's basically uh, selection. Uh, how to create easy selections such as uh, well, especially on complex models such as this. Now what I have here is I have a manhole cover and I got a manhole and a toolbox and in case you're wondering what this image will eventually look like it looks like something like this. I got an HDR setup which is a high dynamic range. Uh, this image is just used as a projection and then I have some models inserted inside of it. Uh, it's, I'm still currently working on it so I mean it's not really anything fancy. Um, anyway, um, basically I I have this image here, well this model, and I want to create a texture to go along the seams. Everywhere you see highlighted orange is where I've already pre-selected to show you what exactly I want to texture. Uh, this will probably be one color, probably like a rusty color, while the top part of it might be more silver, yet also rusty. Uh, the rusty being, of course, it's outside. So what, I, what I'm going to show you here is uh, I'm going to deselect and I'm going to go to my faces. And how would, how would be the best way to do that? Well, if I click on these little faces here, uh, I could, you know, take my time and try to select as many as I can and try to you know, get through them all but you know that's just gonna take a long time I could do a process of elimination where I actually you know click here here and you know I I just kind of like select everything and then I deselect everything else but that's not really what I want all that stuff will take a lot of time so what I'm going to show you is the grow selection and reduce selection tools. It's just a shortcut command. Uh, you can also do like uh, in the select menu they're both listed here. But it makes it really simple. But I need in order to show the grow I need and, and use it properly I need to show you how to create uh, a selection based on the topology. If the topology is good and you can actually create simple selections by holding the shift key and collecting in the direction in which you want uh, the selection to loop. So if I want a selection to loop this way around the edge I can just double click here and I'll get a row of selection here and I didn't have to click anything. If I wanted the selection to be upward like go around this way i just turn the camera here I just select the uh, the above direction here. And you gotta be careful not to click your selector. There we go. Alright, so it selects everything on the row here. And I can keep clicking. Sometimes it breaks off, but for the most part it'll try to go all the way around. If it can't, there might be a little bit of a topology error there, whether there's an extra vertice or an extra edge. But basically, depending on the direction in which you turn or, or click, will determine which way this uh, will loop around. So now I'm going to show you the grow and reduce. The grow and reduce is rather simple. If I click this here and I press shift and I use the less than or greater than, depending on which one you want to use. In this case I'm going to use the greater than. So as I press greater than you'll notice that the orange gradually increases until it eventually covers the entire object. Whereas if I use the less than it slowly reduces. So if I com combine the two of the, the selections, I'll, I'll select my loop here, just like I showed you. Then I'm going to hold shift and greater than. And you'll see the orange come over. So I've selected everything I wanted to select, but I don't want this little extra. So I'm going to use the reduce. And there we go. I now have my selection without hardly any effort. This is just one of the pro tips um, that I'll be working on, and I'll be so you can you know get some specifics and not really a whole general because no one wants to go look through videos for just a tip so uh, feel free to comment and ask any questions if you need it thank you